Hey, what's going on everybody? If you catch this video today, I'd like to wish you a happy Friday. If you're not, then it shouldn't matter what day of the week it is. You should love each and every day that you're alive and breathing, okay? <laughs> so, the subject today, um, are they coming for your jobs? Just bear with me, I'm charged, I gotta charge my phone, because I'm archaic and I just do this on my cell phone. Um, are they coming for your jobs? Who are they? Well, I'm talking about technology. Technology has been taking people's jobs since the Industrial Revolution ended. Think about it. Before Ford created the assembly line, there were people putting together car, you know, thousands upon thousands of people. Not that there still weren't, but when he created the assembly line and streamlined everything, do you think they needed as many people in the workforce? And the answer is no. I'll tell you a little personal story. Um, I used to be a floor member. I worked on a New York Stock Exchange. Uh, got the job down in uh, down there, uh, downtown Manhattan. Uh, yes, the place you see on TV with all the yelling and screaming. However, that yelling and screaming does not exist anymore because it's all computers. Ah, that's where I'm going with this. So I got I got I went down here in 1997, and in 2008 I left. And the reason why I left, and why thousands of other people left, is because they were out of jobs. Now, I didn't lose my job, but my company went out of business within two years of me leaving. I just happened to see the writing on the wall. Had nothing to do with the economy. Had nothing to do with the stock market crashing. What it did have everything to do with was. In 2006, I was handed uh, what looked like an archaic iPad. It was probably this thick, this big. I had a shoulder strap, and I would ex instead of talking to people to buy and sell stock, I would just push buttons. And as a result, our customers that we used to execute orders for, they also started using computers. So they were cutting our commission rates and we were getting paid less and we were earning less and you could kind of see where that was going and everybody on the exchange was earning less and ultimately technology cost thousands upon thousands of jobs in financial services more recently we saw this in the fast food uh you know the minimum wage sector i'll call it you know the the you know people in high school that have jobs and, and it's not everybody in high school it's people that might be struggling and just need to make some ends meet point is they were demanding pay raises they were demanding fifteen dollars an hour uh fifteen dollars an hour and so what what did some of these companies do if you walk into certain fast food restaurants if you walk into a walmart uh, grocery stores what do they have they have self checkouts they have uh, self-ordering. They are eliminating the middleman. And it's happening at an alarming rate. The question is, when's the next wave? Um, you see Quicken Loans on TV, Rocket Mortgage. Okay, They're, they're disrupting the mortgage industry. Uh, the real estate industry is being disrupted. So the masses are going to be out of jobs at some point. May not happen now. May not happen in three years. Ultimately, what's, what, the way I see it is we're going to have a downturn in the economy. It happens. It's, you know, the economy is cyclical. It happens. They go up, they come down, they come back up. That's what they do. And during the next downturn, there's going to be people let go. And when companies let go of people, they have less of a workforce and technology increases. And as a result of that, Companies learn how to operate with less overhead, meaning less employees. And if, if, if a certain company, let's say they have 5,000 employees and they let go 2,000 employees and now have 3,000 and they get out of the bad economy with 3,000 employees and their profit margins start going higher again, they may or may not have to hire people back, right? And to, as, as fast as technology is changing, um, we may be looking at uh, computers taking over other industries. You're going you're gonna to see uh, robots and computers start to replace certain doctors. You know, we don't know. In a decade, there might just be 
uh, one doctor in an, in an operating room working a computer for robotic arms to perform surgeries. We have no idea. They could be robo lawyers. I mean, this stuff is already developing. You know, artificial intelligence is happening. Like, all these things are developing. And so a huge chunk of the workforce will ultimately find themselves pssst, no income. So a lot of people throw around the idea of uh, universal basic income. I think that's a disastrous plan. That is another entitlement. That's a welfare state. However, if you're creative enough and you can create yourself a second income, doesn't have to take a ton of your time. Create a second income offering services to people today. And what would be key before the next uh, downturn in the economy? Get your credit score up. Get your debt down, if not completely gone. I'm talking about bad debt. Eliminate all bad debt. And increase your income so you could stack more cash. And you could do other things. Protect yourself. What if there was a business that allowed you to do all of those and build a business? That's what I'm offering you. I'm part of a company called My Econ. I've branded myself, and you can check out my website, operation1099.com. Okay, I invite you to join us. We're about five, our team's about 500 strong, and we're just getting started. It's only been a month. We are just getting going. We're looking to be 50,000 people deep. And here's what's gonna happen. You're gonna do the business. You're gonna learn, you're gonna get a financial education. We're gonna help you build. We have a unique thing called the rotator link. If you wanna hop on a chat, I'd be happy to talk to you about it. We're gonna build this thing out big. It's gonna be huge. And when the next downturn comes, for any of those people that are at risk, of losing their jobs, the goal would be to use my econ, that platform, financial education and services platform, to replace the income of your primary job. So hey, if you never lose your job, you gotta double the income. If you do lose your job, you don't miss a beat. And by the way, right now, my econ is only available in the United States. What happens when they open up in other countries? We're at the infancy stages here. We're gonna grow fast. And we're providing a service to people that they need. Increase credit, decrease debt, increase income. Who can't use help in at least one or two of those areas, right? So I, I, I invite you to join us. We'll get you in our, in our exclusive Facebook group. You'll get one-on-one -on -one coaching and we will help you get your first commission check in two weeks. Assuming you do what we tell you to do, <laughs> you can get paid in two weeks. I did. You can too, okay? You start this thing up, you fast forward a year, you could potentially replace your current job's income 100%, potentially. You gotta do the work, but we'll show you how to do that. So if this is something that you'd like to explore and work directly with me, visit operation1099.com um, you can fill out the contact form and, you know, we can set up a time to chat or you could just click one of the buttons, uh, fill out your information and it'll take you to a video and it'll show you all about the business side and then you get to sign up. I mean, it's 35 bucks a month where you're going. Okay. It's not a, not a big investment. What a way to start a business. How much would it cost you to start a franchise? So let's replace your current job's income. This way, you become bulletproof when technology comes for your job. Have a great day.